I would say that the training of trainers is maybe the engine of our work with communities throughout New York City. It's our foundation. It's how we um, build up uh, the capacity of the different groups that we're lucky enough to work with. That's how we help people to um, take what they're doing and, and move even further. To me, it's, it's one of the most important things that we do, so it's exciting to be able to share that with people. Right, the Trainer Trainers program, I've done it, I've taken it over and over again. I think that every couple of years, you should continue to take it because you would learn something new over and over again. I, I mean, I truly believe that everybody should take training with trainers, everyone in the world. You're guiding this learning process where people are learning from each other, learning from the facilitator, um, having a good time doing it, um, feeling empowered by the process, and so that was very liberating for me. It's, it's liberating in a way that that normal education has not been for me. One of the things we do through the City Farms program is to run a training of trainers course for um, community leaders who have a lot of skills and knowledge and who want to pass that on to their communities and beyond. Um, and our training of trainers uses a popular education approach, a participatory education approach, teaches people how can you share your knowledge and skills with people in an interactive, um, hands-on, and effective way. We originally um, started leading the training of trainers in collaboration with Heifer International. It gives you um, the tools that are necessary to do a workshop, you know. But it takes into account uh, what people come to the training with and help them organize that knowledge so that uh, they can share it. In a way, it's just, I think this, it's, it aligns with what so many people's basic beliefs are. Like you approach life, and you approach education, and you approach a learning environment from a space of compassion. We're all experts in our own experience, mm -hmm. you know, that we come to a learning situation knowing our lives better than anybody else. And, and that being the starting place for education, you know, that you need to start where people are. Um, that was really exciting to me too because then that switches how we think of learners as just recipients of knowledge that the teacher imparts um, but instead thinking them as actually uh, bringing a lot to the table and every time it's going to be a totally different mix of people with so much at the table um, so this kind of education becomes more than just education it becomes modeling how we want society to be right mm -hmm. it becomes we're not just teaching on how to keep chickens but we're actually practicing kind of democracy in the space. Nosotros en este país no tenemos una sola cultura. Hay gente de diversa cultura, de diversa eh, de diversas experiencias y entonces uno tiene que conocer más o menos un camino común por el cual uno puede llegar a las personas respetando sus derechos y respetando también que ellos tienen tienen ideas propias. Entonces, eso va a enriquecer, ¿no? Porque no va a ser simplemente una perspectiva la que se va a presentar, sino muchas. Entonces uno como una persona que quiere organizar o facilitar un cambio, tiene que armarse de todas aquellas eh, cualidades de otras, de otras culturas que puedan converger para poder hacer un, fuerte, un, un frente común. You gotta remember, when you're talking to people, they're human. You can't go in there stating, well, you got to do this, this, and this, because uh, uh, an old time farmer gonna tell you, well, who is that little buck trying to tell me to do? You know, you gotta earn their respect, and that's a slow process. It gives you a different, a different set of tools to use. It was all about process. It was all about doing. A lot of what we talked about during the sessions or during the TOT trainings, um, we did and we reflected and it's when you reflect and you stop and think about it that you start to sort of place value on it. And so the training of trainers is to bring community leaders into the room, mm -hmm. um, practice all of these new training techniques to get out of the framework of this teacher-centered model where we lecture, where we do this rote learning, memorization of facts, but actually do this very dynamic, um, interactive kind of teaching where everyone's knowledge is important. You start with the experience of the individuals who come to your training um, and build from there. So that would be the basis of everything you do with popular education and the, and the people, the students, will 
have agency and ownership of the entire educational process throughout. And within that, as a facilitator in that process, I will contribute um, the information that I have to the group and use it in ways where I'm constantly uh, facilitating questioning mm -hmm. and for me to also learn from them. Mm -hmm. So it's a two-way exchange. The audience should leave away with something to do. It's an action, it's a plan, but you want them leaving that they've learned something and they're gonna take that sort of learning, learned response and bring it back to their neighborhood and share it. Let's shift who we think of as the expert from staff of organizations to um, members of communities that have transformed vacant lots, that have built up these beautiful gardens and farms, um, and let's hear their voices. I do canning because my mom did canning, my grandma did canning, my great grandma did canning. I had 20 aunts and uncles doing canning. I have, I have people from all walks of life in my workshops and it, when they're in my class they have fun they actually can I'm a very active trainer I ain't no joke if I cut and chop you gonna cut and chop if I gotta boil hot water you gonna boil hot water because I really want them to see how really easy this is I really get to see people's lives change through my canon workshop Gardeners and farmers are the ones teaching other gardeners and farmers. Not only does that change the face of who is an expert in the city, but it also means that those workshops are much more effective in some ways because if you're someone who has been gardening for decades um, on the same piece of land, dealing with city agencies, dealing with elected officials, dealing with recruiting New Yorkers to be part of your project, you know how to do that better than anyone who comes in as a staff member of a different organization from the outside. I took training with trainers last year. I loved it so much. I wanted to co-teach. So I am a teaching apprentice for the second year's training of trainer. As a student, I felt like I was a co-creator in the process of, of this course. And as an apprentice instructor, I feel like I've I've been co-creating this entire course. I started as the city chicken intern. We wrote a uh, how-to guide, but then the next thing was leading workshops, and so I was asked to come through the training of trainers, um, and that was my first experience with this kind of education, leading this kind of education. Now it's been um, six years since I took the training of trainers as a participant, and I've led the training of trainers maybe 15 times since then as a facilitator. Since I had a lot of knowledge, I guess, that I gained growing up on a farm, it allowed me to share uh, the knowledge with, with other people. I got my certificate as a trainer, and I've been training uh, people in community gardens and organizations uh, since then. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's been fun. It's been educational for me. Uh, it helped me develop as a workshop facilitator, you know, uh, and now uh, I'm a full-time staff member with uh, Just Food. If you're out there to help low-income neighborhoods and people of color, then in somehow as you go along the way, you have to step back and relinquish that sort of power so that the community is able to stand on its own. You train people along the way and then you have to step back because that's how you develop leadership and then allow those leaders to start taking on the responsibility of organizing and workshops. Uh, and I think that's what Just Food has done. It's all about sustainability. You know, uh, you, you have to be able to find a way to do the work that you're doing, but how would you uh, keep that work going on for the next generation because it can't stop with my generation or the generation behind me. It has to continue.